The first equilibrium system we'll discuss is a reversible reaction between hydrated cobalt ion and cobalt chloride, which is in a dehydrated form as the water molecules have been removed as the other product. The most important thing you have to keep in mind is the hydrated cobalt has a pink appearance, as shown by the first flask, and the dehydrated form of cobalt chloride has a blue appearance. Both colours are very distinct and it is very easy for students to distinguish between the two different forms. Adding a few drops of hydrochloric acid will increase the concentration of chloride ions, which is one of the reactants of the equation. As a result, if you think about Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium position will shift to the right hand side in order to reduce chloride concentration. So if the equilibrium shifts to the right hand side, the concentration of dehydrated cobalt chloride increases, while the concentration of hydrated cobalt ions will decrease. So because the blue form of cobalt increases while the pink form decreases, the solution you will have will turn more blue. Adding a small amount of silver nitrate will allow the silver ions from silver nitrate to react with chloride ions to produce a white precipitate. It is important for you to remember that silver chloride is a classic precipitate that has a white appearance. It is easily formed and it is very hard to miss. The formation of the silver chloride precipitate will allow the solution to initially appear cloudy and white. At the same time, the reaction between silver and chloride ions will decrease the chloride concentration in this equation. As a result, the equilibrium position will shift to the left-hand side in order to increase the chloride concentration. Again, here we are applying Le Chatelier's principle. As a result, the concentration of dehydrated cobalt chloride decreases and the concentration of hydrated cobalt increases. So the solution will turn more pink. Adding distilled water also affects the equilibrium position as water is one of the products of this reversible reaction. Since the amount of free water molecule increases, the solution is diluted and becomes paler in appearance and color at the very beginning. Afterwards, the equilibrium position will shift to the left-hand side in order to reduce the amount of water. This movement of equilibrium will reduce the concentration of dehydrated cobalt chloride and increase the concentration of hydrated cobalt ions. So again, like before, the solution will turn more pink. The forward reaction of this reversible system is endothermic, as the enthalpy change given is positive. To examine the effect of any temperature changes on equilibrium systems, it is important to find out if the reaction is endothermic or exothermic. Heating or an increase in temperature will shift the equilibrium to the right-hand side, as this will favour the endothermic forward reaction. By doing so, the reaction is able to absorb more energy from the surrounding in order to reduce the energy in the environment. The movement of equilibrium to the right-hand side will increase the concentration of dehydrated cobalt chloride and also decrease the concentration of hydrated cobalt ions. So if you combine the effects of the colours and the concentrations, heating will allow the solution to become more blue. Cooling, on the other hand, involves a decrease in temperature and this will shift the equilibrium to the left side as this will favour the reverse exothermic reaction. By doing so, the reaction is able to produce more heat in order to increase the energy of the environment. The movement of equilibrium to the left hand side will now decrease the concentration of dehydrated cobalt chloride and also increase the concentration of hydrated cobalt ions. So again, if you combine the effect of the two changes in concentration, the solution will become more pink.